The CEOs and top executives of the biggest U.S. airlines are getting grilled on Capitol Hill at this hour about the more than $50 billion in bailout money the industry received. The bailout program, did it work? Were taxpayers ripped off? Or were taxpayers ripped off? Joining us now to discuss ABC News transportation producer Sam Sweeney. Sam, thank you for joining us. So what have we heard so far in this hearing? Well, Kenneth, right now, airline executives are testifying on Capitol Hill, and they are saying that this program, the payroll protection program, uh, worked. And the senators who are questioning them are agreeing with that notion, saying, look, we made this program. It came together in roughly a week, and we saved hundreds of thousands of jobs, possibly up to 400,000 airline jobs alone. That doesn't count for the jobs at the airports, the fuelers, the caterers, um, the wheelchair people. All of those jobs were saved saved because of this program. It was designed to keep people paid, but the airlines still, obviously, their uh, customer base evaporated uh, nearly overnight, and they offered buyouts. They offered early retirement programs. So they still lost a lot of employees, but they were able to keep the air system, the air system here in the United States serving this country and all of the other countries up and running, meaning they were able to move people and cargo when it needed to be moved. And, and Sam, the, the payroll protection, uh, payroll support program, as it was designed to keep employees on the payroll. But as you just told us, there were those buyouts and early retirements. A lot of report, they shed a lot of employees. People, some people say they were violating the terms of that bailout because the, the work hasn't been there when the vaccines rolled out. So uh, how are the airlines answering that charge? Well, look, it was designed under a certain ratio that they would provide uh, roughly 75 percent of the salaries uh, for these airlines. But uh, we just heard from one of Delta's executives saying, look, that just wasn't enough money. So they offered these buyouts and early retirements to cut costs to keep these airlines afloat. Scott Kirby, the president, CEO of United Airlines, said if we didn't get this money, we would have had to shut down United Airlines. That would have taken out roughly 20 percent of available seats here in the U.S. And when we saw those vaccines roll out, United was one of the, those airlines that was able to ramp up their operation quickly because they didn't lay off or furlough any of their people. There are a ton of restrictions when you uh, lose airline employees. You can't just bring them back overnight. If a pilot is out of the cockpit for more than 90 days, well, they need to go through recurrent training in a simulator. There's only so much simulator space available so it really takes time but if you keep them active and keep these people in their jobs you're able to flip that light switch back on when it was time and that's what we saw but as you mentioned they did lose a lot of people because of those buyouts and that did have an impact on a number of the airlines American Airlines they had a, a meltdown over the summer and then again in the fall Southwest Airlines canceled thousands of flights over uh, Columbus Day weekend they say that cost them about 75 million dollars because they simply just didn't have the people to match the service they were offering. They ramped up too quickly, whereas Delta and United were a little bit more timid and haven't seen those problems yet. Hmm. And Sam, you mentioned that this hearing is ongoing. Let's take a live look inside that hearing there on Capitol Hill, where again, you see um, they are testifying, those CEOs of these major airlines. And Sam, you mentioned the meltdowns over the summer and into the fall. We know thousands of flight cancellations because of staffing and weather. And we also know that air travelers have very little patience for these airlines and those men who are testifying there on Capitol Hill right now. So the big question as we are in the holiday season, are those airlines ready for this Christmas crush? They say they are ready. They've brought on thousands of new employees over the last several months. They've learned some pretty hard lessons. And a number of the airlines have actually scaled back their schedules for the holidays so they have ample crews ready to go if there are problems. Now, of course, that wild card is weather. What will happen? Will there be a winter storm that blows across the country and messes things up? Of course, that is out of anybody's control. But as far as the human factor, the airlines say they have enough people to match the demand, to match the planes that they have scheduled to fly and everything should be okay and we should mention that air travel has certainly returned right now those numbers are about 10 percent less than what we saw pre-pandemic in 2019. all right sam sweeney um we heard it there that you said everything's going to be okay when we travel over the holidays we're holding you to it <laughs> i all sure right. hope so <laughs> all right sam sweeney thank you we appreciate it
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.